Welcome to another virtual tour by Goldacre Estates. Today we're in the village of El Roque, literally a 10 minute walk to El Cotillo, the coastlines, the lagoons, the beaches, which literally are just over there. I can actually see the sea from where I'm standing at this fabulous, fabulous villa uh, behind me. You can see the pool area here. Beautiful, beautiful gardens. Uh, just really, really so peaceful here. Very, very tranquil indeed. Uh, this is a lovely property I'm gonna show you now. Very, very special, very unique, bearing in mind its distance to El Cotillo. In a village light atmosphere, uh, on a detached plot with an additional plot on the side as an extra garden. No building allowed uh, just beyond this property. So really a very unique position and a unique opportunity. So in the distance there is the Atlantic Ocean and the fishing village of El Cotillo with those beautiful lagoons. And here we are in this lush green tropical garden. Really beautiful here, lots of aloe vera, Cactus, yucca, lavender growing here. Beautiful succulents. And of course, here by the poolside, this is actually a heated pool, electric heat pump. Downstairs, you've got a gorgeous lounge, sunken lounge actually, separate dining area, all looking out to the pool. On the left hand side is the kitchen, again, the doors opening out to the pool. There's a separate shower and toilet area here by the pool as well. Two beautiful uh, guest bedrooms towards the rear of the property and then upstairs with the rooftop terrace is the master bedroom. Again, just panning around the gardens here. It's a very, very private position here. You can see some very mature trees, lovely little bench seating area that's actually nestled into the natural rock here, volcanic rock. Very, very peaceful indeed. Absolutely nobody overlooking this particular plot. Just while I'm down by the pool, I thought I would nip next door. And just to show you and explain a little bit about the plot next door. Again, lovely garden gate here in wood that leads you in to the plot. This is purely a garden plot. And again, it's actually included in the sale of this property, just protecting you really from any construction immediately next door. There's a little shelter if you like. This is a tank pitch. Again, it's over a thousand square meters here. Really just as an additional garden. This is a southwest facing property and as you can see today in February, ideal position to enjoy the winter sunshine. If I just come around the other side of the property to the east side, you can see slightly sheltered here. This is beautiful garden. Huge palm trees, pepper tree here on the left. And just to show you, on the other side of the property, access to some of the bedrooms on this side as well. Also, while we're poolside, just to explain, on the left here, there is a little WC sink unit here with mirror, lovely skylight. Again, quite useful to have a loo by the poolside and just around the corner here as well. Just off the kitchen is a utility space very, very useful, of course, for drying clothes. Again, lovely pepper tree here. And if I just look over the top, you can actually see the gardens on the front of the property. And then this is your kitchen, one of the kitchen doors. So again, ideal when you're barbecuing that you have kitchen access out to the pool. Walking into the kitchen off the uh, pool terraces, as you can see here, Beautiful double thickness granite stone, sink unit, views out to the pool. There's that side door to the utility room. Loads of cabinet space here, as you can see. 
and then you've got an oven, microwave, tower unit, large fridge freezer. And then that walks into the main entrance hall from the front door, stairs leading up to the master bedroom. And just to the right here is the main lounge. And even before getting to the dining table and lounge, you can see views out to those gardens at the rear of the property. Again, really, really gorgeous, mature gardens here. If I just pan around, you've got the dining table here for six, doors out to the pool, lovely elevated ceilings here, and of course this natural stone feature that's echoed further down into the lounge and the fireplace. Stepping down into the lounge then, as you can see, really a comfortable space here to watch the TV. There is a fireplace for natural burning wood or charcoal. Again, it's a lovely feature. Gorgeous views out to the pool. And really beautiful stonework features here. And again, views out, of course, to the gardens. Coming back from the lounge, just going up a couple of steps here to the two downstairs guest bedrooms. Again, both of these bedrooms are double bedrooms. You can see here, two single beds, built-in wardrobes here on the left, and both a window and doors that take you out to the terraces and gardens. The second guest bedroom then, absolutely identical in terms of size and layout really, just a mirror image. Again, it also has the wardrobes here. And I'll just step outside so you can be reminded of the gardens. That's actually a lovely wooden pergola, some jasmine growing here. And you can see then that both these bedrooms have access out to this terrace. This is east facing. Again, some nice shelter from the trees, so no air conditioning required in this property at all. Also on this level, just across the hall from those two guest bedrooms is the shared bathroom. Again, this one is very nicely tiled indeed in green and white. There's a bath here with this gorgeous little archway and there's actually a skylight there. And then there is also a walk-in shower, again with side window for ventilation and of course the sink unit. Again, just coming up from the accommodation. This is actually the entrance hall. This is actually the front door here. And if I just pan around, you can see the garage on the side. And of course, the main entrance to the property with that beautiful bourgainvillea on the right. And again, loads of garden here, making best use of this natural volcanic stone. That's the side of the property that leads back down to the pool. Walking upstairs then takes you up to the master bedroom. And again, this is a beautiful space. You're elevated. There's plenty of natural light here because of course you've got windows, these sliding doors that lead you out to a terrace. You've got pitched elevated ceilings here. Again, more space on the side, a bit of storage, chest of drawers and built-in wardrobes. And then there's an ensuite shower room here on the left. Again, beautifully finished in some nice lattice, dark wood. From this bedroom, there is a rear terrace that takes you out and looks over the gardens. And another terrace above the garage. Again, some elevated views there across the countryside. On the south side then of the master bedroom is this balcony going into a terrace. You can see across the top of the lounge area, across the pool, off into the distance. You'll actually see one of the windmills of El Cotillo and in the real distance you can see the coastline towards Betancuria and then we're on to this sun deck terrace here 
again really sheltered because of course there's this privacy wall that protects this particular position and here you can imagine now really commanding views across the pool so there you have it i hope you enjoyed that virtual tour uh, and i hope it's helped you uh, understand the layout and distribution of this particular property again very very special position in walking distance to El Rocky and the beaches there uh, again a three bedroom detached uh, villa here rooftop uh, views to the sea beautiful heated swimming pool here garage also included so quite a special opportunity full details on goldacreestates.com